The inaugural Tour de Yorkshire started today in Bridlington. Steeped in history, its award-winning Golden Sands matched the sparkle of the cycling peloton, including Sir Bradley Wiggins. On the agenda, 174 kilometres of brutal rating characterised by steep climbs and sinuous roads with a headwind coastal finish in Scarborough. The early stages of the race were dominated by a five-rider breakaway, with an animated Eddie Dunbar of NFTO taking King of the Mountains points. But he was later to crash out of the race. The big news of the day was the withdrawal of Marcel Kittel. His season plagued by fatigue and illness continued with more disappointment. With the breakaway reeled in, the Hogwarts Express and Harry Potter seemed to have cast a spell. A crash on a slippy corner took out Swift of Team Sky in his home race and this is where Dunbar also ended his challenge. The race kicked off on the climb of Robin Hood's Bay. Philip Dignan, a stage winner on the Welter Espana, climbed well and was joined by four other riders, including teammate Norda. Past the site of Dracula's landing in the Bram Stoker novel, and the race was on. The five riders were never caught despite a hard chase. On the run into the finish, teammates Norda and Dignan tried to go it alone for the win. But each time, Volkler of Eurocar, Sanchez of BMC and Rosetto of Cofidis reeled them in. In the final metres, Nordog overhauled his opponent, timing his sprint perfectly to the delight of his teammate. The first stage and blue leader's jersey were his. It's great, also with, uh, with the spectators here, it's uh, massive, so uh, I feel I'm riding at, uh, at home, riding for Sky, so... This is really great, but uh, the team was so strong today and they, they were riding the whole day to make it hard and, and we were riding for Ben Swift, but I heard he was uh, crashing pretty hard, so, so that's a shame, but then, uh, then I had to try and do something. Wow,